One of the biggest challenges that you are going to face as a video editor is controlling the music. You have to learn how to work with measures and beats to effectively adjust your music upon the needs of your project. In this short lesson, we'll be showing you a powerful technique on how to properly prepare and cut down your music cue. Let's start with the first one. How to properly prepare your music track. First, you need to add markers on the main beats. You can do this by selecting the audio track on your timeline and hitting the letter M on your keyboard every time you want to add a marker. And if you double click on it, you can even choose the color for the marker. The main beats are basically the loudest parts of the music. These are the main beats of the music. And this is the measuring distance between the main beats. And these are called subbeats. They coexist within the main beats of the music. Now there's two types of main beats, the down beats and the up beats. Your music track will always start with the down beat. I marked the down beats with the red color and the up beats with the yellow color. I also marked some of the main beats in blue color so I can visually see where the new instruments are being introduced to the cue. Let's first listen to the whole track to differentiate the down beats from the up beats. Have a look at it. Down, up, down, up, and down. You get the point. Now, listen carefully and see if you can spot the new instruments being introduced to the cue after every blue marker. Markers are good to visually guide you when it comes to adjusting or customizing your music. Now, let's talk about how to properly edit and cut down your music. The idea is to find repetitive sections within a cue and cut the music on the right beat to properly extend, reduce, or even combine different sections of the music if the project needs to. To do this, I will have to cut the music on the proper beats, which means the up beats with the up beats and the down beats with the down beats. Otherwise, this is what will sound like if you cut it on the wrong beat. You can tell something is not right, and having some crossfades in between will not do the job. Have a look at it. Okay, let's go back. Now, let's say we needed this music track for about 20 seconds while keeping some of the major sections of the music. What will be the best way to move from this section to this section and finally to this section in a way that feels part of the original soundtrack? To properly reduce the length of this music track, I will make my first cut right here on this downbeat and my second cut will be right here on this blue downbeat. Since this blue marker is between two yellow marks, I know two things. One, that the beat is the down beat. And two, that a new instrument is being introduced to the cue right after this marker. Now you can delete the middle part entirely. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds great feels like part of the original soundtrack, and that's the goal. Now, how do we move from this section to this section? Well, we are going to apply the same concept, find the proper beat, and then bring the same beat from a different section of the music and combine them. In our case, we have a down beat, so I'm gonna bring another down beat from this section. Now, let's listen to the whole track and see the results.
Most upcoming new editors use a lot of crossfades between cues to move from a small section to the bigger section of the music, or they use them to extend or shrink a music track. This is not a practical way of cutting down or manipulating a music cue. You need to learn how to follow the measures and the main beats, which will make your audio editing more efficient and effective. Hey there, my name is Dennis. I would love if you could leave a comment and tell us what you think of this short video on how to properly prepare and edit your music track. Goodbye for now.